Hello and welcome to 3 cnc and my second review of Harbor King's uh, premium PLA series. Uh, I actually made a review about half a year ago, but uh, I did have some problems back then that I uh, thought might uh, be due to my Ender 3 extruder. And now I printed a lot more with the material. And as you can see, I've used the orange Hobby King PLA for almost all of the parts of my, on my OP3DRC snowmobile and I had zero problems since I replaced the extruder with the metal one. So I'll make this video to make it a bit clearer what I said back then and I will still leave that old video up so you can I'll link it probably up in the corner right here as well as in the video description so you can go and watch it. But that's it. Uh, uh, stay tuned for the video. So the filament comes in these uh, cardboard boxes. You can see some printing settings on the outside uh, for your nozzle bed and also which filament it is. Uh, now I actually use this as I said, but they come vacuum uh, sealed. Uh, also with these uh, silica gel bags to keep the filament uh, dry. So now I've used up pretty much all of these two rolls and I've actually also gotten some uh, more for the future because I really think the filament is a great deal for uh, the price. Uh, almost all uh, in my OP3D RC snowmobile is printed with uh, the Hobby King orange and green PLA. There are some parts in Isan PLA, like the yellow ones for the lights and track plates, but most of the parts are printed in Hobby Kings and I have had zero problems with the parts. Uh, they haven't warped or uh, delaminated and the print quality is very good once you have dialed the settings in. Uh, for the Isan PLA you can get a bit better results without dialing in the settings. Uh, so we have to work a bit to get uh, clean prints without stringing with the Hobby King PLA. But once you have uh, everything figured out, it's a really cheap PLA that prints uh, perfectly fine. Uh, as you can see, the colors aren't that special or deep. You can see this orange one is a bit transparent as well uh, by design. But uh, So no special colors, but it's... Uh, really good PLA for printing functional parts. Uh, it's uh, quite strong. I haven't really had any parts breaking as I said or had any more problems with layer adhesion once I replaced uh, uh, my extruder. So everything seems uh, to work well and I'm happy with the filament. As, as, and as I said I've ordered some more uh, as well for future projects. As I said, the filament comes in these one kilogram rolls, and right now I checked the Hobby King website, and uh, one one of these one kilogram rolls with the premium PLA costs about uh, twenty euros, uh, but it actually goes down to uh, as low as uh, fifteen quite uh, frequently. So that's uh, when I actually ordered mine and as I said for that price there's not uh, many other uh, PLAs that you can order that has uh, the same uh, quality control. I haven't had any problems with uh, inconsistent uh, diameter or uh, anything like that. So that's pretty much it. I have printed some small test uh, parts that I will show now just uh, so you can see some of the colors, how they look like and how the print quality turned out. So here we have some other smaller projects that I made. This is a combination lock box that is printed in the Hobby King green grass as well as the orange uh, for the actual knob. And as you can see here the layers are very consistent and the print quality uh, is uh, actually very good. This is another project which is my hardware sorting uh, boxes. Also these uh, turned out really good. As I said I haven't really had any printing problems 
since I uh, replaced my extruder so that is uh, most likely why the filament didn't really work at the beginning here you can see a comparison and you can also see some of how the colors uh, look like this orange uh, fluor is a bit transparent as I said and uh, that's just uh, what you like if you like it otherwise I think they have some other oranges as uh, well but yeah, these are printed at 0.2 and as you can see the layers look uh, really good so that's it for uh, this review I'll have more coming up in the future of Hobby King's new glitter PLA as well as the X3 that you're supposed to be able to print at three times the normal speed but we'll see if that uh, is actually possible in the future so stay tuned and if you haven't already consider subscribing and i'll see you in the next video <music>